The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Voting just isn't going to the polls on Election Day anymore. Options like early voting, mail-in voting, and ballot drop boxes are available to more voters and are growing in popularity. How to Vote, a tool created by Democracy Works, breaks down the options your state offers for casting a ballot, empowering you to decide when and where to vote. Democracy works best when we all vote, but misinformation and confusion about election procedures have resulted in low voter turnout. How to Vote, a tool created by Democracy Works, takes the guesswork out of the voting process. How to Vote is an easy to use and help folks from all over the country overcome many of the process barriers to voting. Democracy Works is committed to helping you vote no matter what. Their tool, How to Vote, does just that. You can sign up for election reminders, see what's on your ballot, get step by step assistance requesting your mail ballot, explore your options for returning your voted mail ballot, check your voter registration ch- status, find your polling site, and make sure you have the appropriate ID. Decide when and where you'll vote this year at howto.vote. That's howto.vote. Even though this is a presidential election, there are many more candidates on the ballot besides the president. Go to Ballot Ready for a nonpartisan guide to your entire ballot. From there, you can compare candidates based on stances on issues, biography, or endorsements, and then save your choices to use when you vote by mail or in the voting booth. You can even request your absentee ballot or make a plan to vote early on or election day. This election matters. Make sure you have a plan to vote and vote in form. And this year, with changes to polling places and vote by mail laws as a result of COVID, it's more important than ever to have a plan and vote. Local elected officials affect our lives every day. They decide who to prosecute, monitor the quality of our drinking water, and choose the leadership of our schools. 30% of voters take time to vote and then leave some part of their ballot blank. This is a missed opportunity to choose the leaders of our communities. It's okay if you're unfamiliar with some of the more local positions. We recommend hosting a ballot party, get together with friends over Zoom, split up the research, and go through the ballots together. Go to BallotReady.org and enter your address to make a plan to vote and vote in form. That's BallotReady.org. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960.
or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. It's now time for The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Hired by Sonic Web Studios, visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking on a professional website without breaking your budget, Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a very, very wonderful student who was born and raised in Seoul, South Korea, now in Orange County, California. And uh, she also went to school. She's been in the choir. She sings and she also uh, went to University of Dayton, where she double majored in bi- biology and philosophy, and also graduating and went to India to teach philosophy. And on the way, she later became a model as well, too. And just a lot of interesting things about not just a multi talented, basically, singer and also a model and more. She is also one of the smartest people that I have ever interviewed. And you got to meet a very wonderful lady. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the beautiful Plus Studios in Orange County, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the very multi-talented and very multi-intelligent Jimin Kwan. Jimin, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, hello. Um, thank you so much for having me, Mike, and thank you very much for the kind introduction. Well, it's great to have you as well, too. And I read a lot about you, and I'm trying to figure out where the heck to start. But <laughs> but, but, basically, you've been uh, born in Seoul, South Korea, and moved to Orange County, and you um, performed as a singer, and you also... Um, you know, went to school at University of Dayton, and you double major in biology and philosophy, and you worked as an EMT. You also went to India to teach uh, philosophy, and you also got into uh, being a model at um, later on in life, and you also have some more ambitions as well, too. And before we get into all that, um, tell us how you first got started. Hi. Um, so I did get started in modeling just this year, a month before the pandemic hit. Um, and that was because I needed primarily a creative outlet to balance my academic life. So now I am pursuing a PhD in philosophy at the University of California, San Diego. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, before I started modeling, I would be studying and doing research like all day long <laughs> from morning to night. And it was really easy to burn out. And I really needed to, I understood that I was, I started like, accepting that I like needed to be a creative person, uh, not only in philosophy, but also in art. Um, so that's how I decided to start modeling. Uh-huh. And what was that one moment that precisely influenced you into getting into modeling and saying, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my career? What was that one precise moment for you? Just having a lot of fun while shooting. And to be honest, it's not something that I know for sure that I would pursue for the rest of my life. But this is something that I um, am enjoying pursuing at the current stage of my life. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, and also, who are some of your favorite models growing up um, while you're in uh, South Korea and also in uh, California? Uh, well, the funny thing is I had never thought that I would become a model before this year. Um, so I um, 
actually just was like really interested in dressing up and when I um when I would dress up to school and wear makeup I just felt like I was out of place and actually it was my boyfriend who suggested that well maybe maybe modeling is a good avenue for um doing makeup and fashion stuff instead of feeling like an imposter at school Mhm and then I started looking up uh postings for modeling and I found a a wedding photographer who was looking for a wedding couple and at that time I thought my boyfriend had agreed to do it but he actually couldn't make it because he had he had prior um meeting and one month later the photographer reached out to me asking if I could come in for a test shoot so that was back in February and that's how I modeling how my modeling career got started mm That is amazing. So I came in for the test shoot, yeah, to his office and to his studio in, in LA. Um and then I had a ton of fun shooting. Then I started collaborating with more and more photographers in my community in San Diego, Orange County and LA. And I was eventually able to sign with a modeling agency in um for the LA area with No Ties Management. Uh-huh. Okay. And and also too that um you you've been in modeling for a little bit, you've been in touch with uh, agencies and you your appearance in the book. So what are some of the assignments that you've done in terms of modeling and what's that like? Yeah, so so far before I joined any agency, I was able to find photographers who work for some companies like Taylor Victor and I worked I worked with some um I worked with Ilia Beauty which is a clean beauty product company. Um so those are some of the, my favorite shoots that come to mind right now. Mhm. And, and also uh, what 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 can we expect from you um in 2020 and beyond and where can we see you uh in about 5 10 years as a model? Um as a model I hope to I guess my dream is to be um on the cover of a magazine soon. I have been published in multiple magazines so far. Um I've been very lucky enough to be published like in the first month of months I started modeling, but I haven't been on the cover yet. So that would be my next goal. Mhm. And, and and also too that um you you had you you weren't aware of some models uh, growing up and everything. Um how about some of your favorite actresses um growing up as well too and and in the movies too? because that can be influenced when it comes to modeling. Yeah, I think one of some of my um favorite actresses are Emma Watson and uh Jennifer Lawrence. I think they're both beautiful, smart people that I um respect and admire. Uh-huh. And um and also too uh where can we find your uh modeling website at and how do people uh, contact you? Oh, right now, um uh, the best way to find me is on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Panoply of Magic, P A N O P L Y O F M A G I C. Mhm. And I am since I joined the modeling agency, I used to run my own website. Um but now that's under construction and I'm working on I'm I'm in I'm I'm onboarding onto no ties website soon. Okay. All right, very good and we'll get to your modeling in just a minute. And you also have some um other dissertations well too. I'd like to talk to you more about um you know high high gut and biology and philosophy as well too and you're currently working on some projects. We'll talk about that. But first listen to the Mike Wagner show at the mikewagnershow.com powered by Sonicweb Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonicweb Studios is the answer. Sonicweb Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960. or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. 
Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with model Jimin Kwan and also a um, double major in biology and philosophy here on the Mike Wagner Show. And um, you were born in Seoul, South Korea and moving over to Orange County. And you also went to Ohio and University of Dayton. You majored in biology and philosophy and um tell us more about your growing up and um and how you got into school getting into biology and philosophy yeah so i moved to orange county from korea when i was 13 with my family and then i was a little bit depressed in high school i i I didn't adjust very well to the american life and i always felt like an outsider so after i graduated from high school i decided to get a u.s citizenship and also changed my name to an English name. I got I named myself Haley and when I went to college to um get the feeling like I was part of the American culture and that it would be easier for people to remember my name. Then I headed off to Ohio um just because I wanted to like start my life anew and I at that time I was a devout Catholic, so I went to. I decided to go to Dayton, which is a Catholic university, and started uh, majoring in biology with the aspiration of becoming a medical doctor. And then eventually, I decided taking more and more philosophy courses um, at Dayton that I that was enough to make me a double that I, that was enough to qualify for a major in philosophy. Mm-hmm. So that's how I decided to. Uh, double major in biology and philosophy. And then after graduating college in Dayton, I decided to take a gap year because I wasn't sure whether I would want to still pursue medicine or philosophy. So I decided to teach philosophy in India, Bangalore. I was in the South region called Bangalore. Mm Mm-hmm. And I was teaching philosophy science there, and it really suited me. I, I, I really like that philosophy opens my mind to uh, new perspectives, and I feel like doing philosophy made much made a be- made a better person. And I like helping other people feel the same way through philosophy. Mm-hmm. So I decided to apply to graduate school, and now. I then applied to UCSD at that time, and now I'm doing my PhD in philosophy. Oh, very, very nice. I'd like to talk to you more about that. But what first got you interested in biology, and what first got you interested in philosophy? Yeah, so I was interested basically just in becoming, uh, fulfilling the prerequisites for becoming a medical, to, to applying to medical school. And I thought, well, you don't have to major in biology, but that was a good uh, major to be in if you wanted to be a medical student. Um, so I was hoping that studying biology would prepare me to, you know, learn human anatomy and physiology that might all come in handy um, in medical school. Mm-hmm. And then I took a intro to philosophy class in my first year of college because it was required as a general education um, at uh, as a at the Catholic University. Hmm. Okay, you can keep you can keep going here. So I don't yeah, know if we sorry. lost you. Okay, yeah, it's okay. So keep going here. So. <laughs> uh, sorry. I mean, um, Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, all so, right. um, sorry, I, I had a call coming in. I'm sorry. Um, I was trying to decline that while I, oh, while I was in the oh, middle of talking to you, oh, and oh, I couldn't, yeah. Oh, don't so, you just yeah, love but, brand don't you just love to, new technology? I gotta say that, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I mean, things yeah. happen like this, and of course, it, it's all about, um, 
the podcast, the new social media and everything else. I mean, things could have been worse. I mean, I mean, somebody could have walked on you on a Zoom meeting. So, you know, just think about that. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so to continue, I took the philosophy class and I met my great mentor, um, who was my philosophy professor at the time. And that was actually my first exposure to philosophy as, a, as an academic discipline. I didn't really know what philosophy was before going to college. But when I started reading uh, ancient philosophers like Plato and Aristotle, I realized that the questions that they were asking were really the questions that I had been asking my entire life since I was a child. So it felt very natural to me that I am, you know, naturally asking those questions that philosopher, that famous philosophers have asked, like, what is good life? Um, you know, what are the right things to do? So um, essentially, in, in the beginning, I was interested in, like, asking what's the right thing to do. Um, so this is part of moral philosophy. It's, um, that's what got me interested um, but right now, my interest within philosophy has shifted towards um, philosophy of science and study of knowledge called epistemology. Mm-hmm. It- so I think it was all my my, my entire path was just um, wholly like unpredictable. I couldn't have predicted that I would be here right now, you know, pursuing a, a PhD in philosophy. Um, Mm-hmm. Yeah, but really, I'm I'm just happy that I'm able to. Yeah, I that I am studying philosophy right now, and you know the job market is really bleak, and and for that reason, I think it's good to have other outlets like modeling and um, you know singing and other positions to you know occupy my time. And, you know, I, I, who knows what, what would happen in the future. Mm-hmm. And you're also doing some current research as well, too. We'll talk more about that and also the podcast. But first, listen to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking our budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention to Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with um, Model, also a singer, and also... um, a biology and philosophy, philosophy major, um, Jimmy Quan here on the Mike Wagner Show. Yeah, philosopher, that's the name of it. Oh, boy, I need some coffee in one of those yes. days, I'll tell you. <laughs> I am a professional philosopher. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Like like I said, it was one of those things before we talked that um, we're trying to find a place to pick. It's like so much to talk about. Now we're talking philosophy here, and you got a current dissertation going on concerning the relationship between scientific knowledge, cure disagreement, and joint decision making, bridging topics from philosophy to science, epistemology, and decision theory. And um, you know, just quickly uh, tell us all about that. Yeah, sorry, there's a lot of jargon there. Um, I feel like philosophy really is a discipline that um, you know, first of all, has a lot of jargons that we don't normally use in our ordinary conversation, and so it's a little bit difficult to speak to an audience. Um, that is not like in philosophy, but I'm going to do my best. So I'm basically concerned. I'm curious about questions about whether scientific knowledge is possible. You know, normally we think that it's, it's possible to know things that I am standing here, that I am talking to, talking on the Mike Wagner show with Mike. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, philosophers have questioned that and that's called like realism and anti-realism debate and right now I'm looking at you know sort of similar questions but in in philosophy of science and whether scientific theories are true so questions like that and 
you know, when philosoph- when scientists disagree about what's true and how we came about living on Earth, for example, then is it possible that all of those disagreeing people can are rational? So can we have rational disagreement? So those are some of the main questions that I'm considering. And another part of my dissertation looks at how we can go about making decisions as a group. So, for example, when we do public, when we make public policy, when people have disagreements based on some kind of shared evidence. Uh huh. This is actually rather interesting because I did su- study philosophy uh, for quite some time, but it's been about a while. So, you know, I like to hear. Oh, wow. I like to hear more about it as well, too. Like with. Um, you know, the rationalism and um, especially to apply it, what's going on in the world today? You know, there's just all these fractions and, you know, just divisions and just about everywhere you read the news. And of course, the big question is, it's like, what's real news and what's fake news? That's what more boils down to. Yeah, I think that's a really interesting question. Um, And I am uh, trying to bring my research down to earth Um, because I think academic philosophy can be a little dry at times, and probably what I said, like, like maybe, you know, maybe some of the notions were too technical. Um, But, yeah, I think eventually I would like to think about how we should go about forming public policy as, like, and then what what we ought to do as citizens, you know, what's, you know, if there, as you said, there's a lot of dissension right now, and there's a lot of, people disagreeing about what's true and what's what's not true and so when we disagree like that i'm i'm curious whether it's possible that you know people apart people who assert p and others who assert the negation of that sentence can be both rational at the same time mm mm-hmm. And also, too, in terms of science-based public policy and all the policies that you had mentioned as well, too, like group policy and more, and uh, and how these uh, policies and decisions affect uh, when it comes to the current uh, coronavirus or any other crisis that's going on in this country and the world? Well, that's a great question. So, you know, there is a lot of uncertainty about what coronavirus is and where this is going you know, how much risk there is when you go out to play outside, you know, how much risk there is to uh, as to contracting the disease and how likely it is that you're, you're going to um, get seriously sick. Um, so when we try to make decisions about what we ought to do, whether, you know, whether it's like morally right to be active right now, whether it's morally active for businesses to be running, um, people are going to disagree. So part of my research uh, looks at how people have different ideas and different um, guesses about the probabilities of those um, events, like getting sick, getting uh, getting contracting the coronavirus, and getting sick, and I basically argue in my dissertation that. It's, you know, we don't have to notify our beliefs about those sentences um, if we use um, the notion of probability that's imprecise rather than precise. I'm sorry if this is, Mm is, I'm not sure if this is making sense, but it basically proposes to gather people's different beliefs and um, you know, avarice then in some sort of way. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Right, and and, and also, too, that uh, you also study biology as well, too. And um, is, is the coronavirus something that can be defeated with a vaccine, or is it just given another name, like, say, the common cold, or is it a complex uh, pneumonia or anything like that? It's How do you see the coronavirus, you know, itself, since you're, since you're a biology major? Oh, I mean, since it's been a while I since I studied uh, biology, and I don't feel like I'm, you know, I am an expert on this topic. I I, I don't know. I I don't feel like I know enough to speak on this topic. 
Okay. Well, we just want to double check on it too. And, um, and, and what should people do, uh, you know, you know, during this time as well, especially with the uh, coronavirus. And you also were featured in the podcast as well too, um, talking about the coronavirus. Was it Panoply of Magic? You're on that one. So you can just uh, give us a take on that. And what can people do about the coronavirus? Oh, yeah. So my podcast um, was with other humanities students at University of California, Irvine, and um, and Davis. And we talked about, you know, you, you can find the link on SoundCloud or my Instagram, Panoply of Magic. And we talk about, you know, coronavirus from each of our perspective as a philosopher, me as a philosopher, and Megan as a English uh, PhD student, and Bashara as a cultural uh, studies scholar. And so we this is this this podcast offers three different perspectives on coronavirus. So mainly, what I talk about is whether we are making the right decision to, you know, for the state to go in in a lockdown. In, in this circumstance, or is it fair that um, some essential workers are working and risking their lives while the rest of us are, you know, working at home? So some of those questions, some of the questions that are related to morality can be found in my podcast. And what can we find your podcast at? Um, it's uploaded on SoundCloud. And the same handle as my Instagram, Panoply of Magic. Okay. And if you find me on Instagram, then there is a link in my bio. Okay. All right. That's very good. Once again, we're here with model, singer, and philosopher Jamin Kwan here on the Mike Wagner Show. And, um, you know, we, you talked about being a singer as well, too, like you, um, you know, sang before you went to college. And um, any plans of um, resuming singing along with your uh, modeling career? Yes. Um, so I love singing. I would. You, I often co- competed in high school as a singer, and you know, one was pretty successful. And I was doing live shows during college, up until college. And when I started graduate school, and now modeling, I'm a little too busy to start to sing all the time. Uh, but eventually, I hope to get more into singer singing and songwriting. So that's on my agenda as well. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, once again, uh, you being Molly yourself. And once again, what's the motivation for modeling? Yeah, so my motivation started from help wanting to help other women, you know, help empower other women and encourage them to you know, pursue natural beauty. Uh-huh. So I was very interested in beauty since I was little and you know, very insecure about my body. So I have a whole like long story about all the things that I went through as a really insecure adolescent and young woman. Uh-huh. Um, you know, at, in college, like nobody knows this except for my sister and, you know, and a couple of friends that I've shared so far. But I, you know, I was so insecure about my body that I decided to get breast implants when I was 22. And then I went to graduate school with that. And I really felt like an imposter because people don't even wear makeup in graduate school. And, you know, me there as like a person who's wanting to look pretty and be smart at the same time, I just felt like I was an oddball and I I really felt like it didn't suit me, so I decided to go ahead and remove the breast implants at 24, and that procedure actually made me feel really empowered um, and happy that I made that decision, made that choice for myself to embrace my body and who I am. Mm-hmm. So I am. I want to share that experience with other women. I want to dissuade them from going under. Um, invasive surgeries like those and I feel like as a model I felt like as a model I would have a wider audience of women that I can interact with 
Uh-huh. And reach out to. Okay. And uh, where can we find your uh, website at when it comes to modeling? Um, so the website is actually <clears throat> um, under construction. I recommend it. Yeah, it, it's called jininquan.wixsite.com, but you'll see that if you ever check it out, it's a little bit outdated. So I recommend checking out my new photos on, in, on my Instagram. Okay, we will do that. Once again, we got the smartest model in the business right now here in the United States and beyond, Jimin Kwan here on the Mike Widener Show. And um, Jimin, uh, we have a few minutes here. You've been really fantastic. You really got me thinking and looking forward to having you again soon. And uh, what what, do you, what can we expect from you in 2020 and 2021 and beyond? Um, I'm sorry, can you repeat that question? Uh, okay, what what can we expect from you in the future? Oh, okay. Um, maybe you can expect to expect to see me in some of the larger beauty campaigns. So that was my goal. Um, you know, when I joined Birdies um, Management, uh, B Squared Management, and No Ties Modeling Management. So hopefully, I'll be part of some larger um, beauty or fashion campaigns that um, I would. You know, you, you guys can see me in, in those, you know, whether it's websites or magazines or billboards. Okay. So right. that's, that's my yeah, wish right now, yeah. Okay, we will do that. Look forward to it. And uh, who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? My biggest... Influence. Influence? Yes. Oh, who is my biggest influence in my career? Correct. Um, so as a model, I really admire Coco Roca. I think she's like pretty legendary. She's very well known for her, you know, creative poses. So mm -hmm. I recently got her book to study the poses and I'm really looking forward to, you know, being better, you know, at like just letting go and expressing myself. Um, so, and then in philosophy, I have several women mentors that have helped me um, throughout the years. Uh, Myrna at Dayton and Jennifer at University of, San, University of California, San Diego. So those are my two uh, female mentors in philosophy okay. who have had uh, some of the greatest impact in my life. Okay, okay, great. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? I think advice I want to give to people is to do things at your own pace and do things, do things, you know, wait to do things until you're ready to do it. I think a lot of times I didn't listen to my intuition. I didn't trust myself. And I was often feeling very overwhelmed from pushing myself so hard. But I think it's important to go at your own pace to feel happy why you know the process is really important it's not just about the end goal mm -hmm. and that's very important as well too once again jimin kwan here on the mike wagner show model singer and also a philosopher a very big thank you for your time you've been absolutely fantastic looking forward to having again soon once again tell us about your upcoming projects what's your website how do people contact you? Where can people, um, you know, check out your modeling or even check out your podcast or dissertation? Thank you so much, Mike. Um, please find me on Instagram at Panoply of Magic. Once again, it's P A N O P L Y O F N A G I C, Panoply of Magic. Um, and if you go there, there's a link tree and it contains my podcast. And it would be lovely if you could check out that podcast as well. Sounds very good. Once again, Jimin, a very big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. We'll love to have you back in the future. Thank you so much. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios.
If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.